Welcome to the LatinKitchen.com. I'm Christy Vega, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make spinach enchiladas. First, we're going to start with a deep pot filled a little less than halfway with water. To this, we're going to add about eight tomatillos, a bunch of cilantro with the stems already cut off, one half white onion sliced, one teaspoon salt, and one teaspoon granulated sugar. We're gonna let this boil for five minutes. We're gonna remove it from the heat and let it cool. Now that our vegetables are nice and cool, we're gonna add them to the blender to make the salsa. So strain it carefully. And then we're gonna add a little bit of the water. We're gonna put our top on and we're gonna blend this. Now for some creaminess, we're gonna add one half avocado and one tablespoon sour cream. Now feel free to go ahead and make that low fat sour cream. This is a really healthy salsa. As you can see, it was just vegetables that we added in there, so no harm in adding a little bit of sour cream. If your sauce seems a little thick, you can go ahead and add a little extra water, but ours turned out perfect. Now we're gonna be cooking the spinach that goes inside the enchiladas. It's gonna be really, really good. Add a little bit of oil, chopped white onion. We're gonna cook the onion till it's a translucent in color. To our onion, we're gonna add a little bit of cheese, about two ounces of the salsa we just made. Now we're gonna throw in our spinach. And you can do your spinach in batches as you see. It gets a little messy at first because the leaves are, um, are so large, but when you cook them, they really wilt down. So now we're gonna heat up the tortillas so they're nice and pliable. It's really important to do so. We're gonna add to my little griddle, but you can do this on any pan you have in the kitchen. It's really, really easy. I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil, and we're gonna warm up the tortillas so they're nice and soft, and you can bend them without breaking them. The nice thing about enchiladas is it's a great meal for dinner parties and large parties. You can line a whole casserole dish with enchiladas. It's really, really a good um, meal for parties. We're gonna put two tortillas on the plate. We're gonna grab maybe about three ounces or so of the spinach mixture. Once again, we're gonna add a little bit of the salsa just to give it that extra flavor and a touch of shredded cheese inside. And again, the cheese is totally optional, but it does make it nice. We'll roll our tortilla. What's important with an enchilada is to make sure that your seam is plate down. That way it doesn't open. We'll do the same. And then we're gonna cover the enchilada with the sauce. You could do just a little bit of sauce. At Casa Vega, we, have to, we like to add a lot of sauce. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna top it with, again, just a little bit of cheese a handful or so. And we're gonna bake this in the oven about 350 degrees and we're gonna melt the cheese on top. You can go ahead and bake the enchiladas right on the plate. It is always best if it's an oven proof plate, but since it'll only take a couple minutes, you shouldn't run into many problems. So our enchiladas should be done. Very important, make sure to wear your oven mitts because the plate will be very, very hot when it comes out of the oven. And there we have it, our Casa Vega spinach enchiladas. For more of my cooking demos and recipes, check out thelatinkitchen.com.